Hi everyone, so in this video we will illustrate how do we use this Win apps in this um, under Wayland um, Sway WM. So one of the, the issue here is that the pop-up dialog will not be um, fixed in dimension. The size will keep decreasing until the minimum. Okay, so we will illustrate this one. Of course, um, now let's launch the Excel application and you can see that um, Excel application is not launched from here. Okay, so by the way, for those um, for anyone who who are new to these um, Win apps, so you can perhaps watch the other video which I will put in the the, the link in the description below. That um, how do we install these Win apps and what is this Win apps? Um, the GitHub link, the resources, and so on, and um, in the other videos. Okay, so over here, um, when you can see that um, when we try to launch the Excel file, um, it just um, doesn't launch. One of the possible reason could be the virtual machine is not started yet. So the one of the way from command prompt is that we can actually um, run this um, to start this one, and you can see that it it can't actually start because the network default is not active then now we need to do a net start of the default um, network okay um, default network started then we run this um, command okay now we can um, actually run this um, Excel application of course over here using Win apps um, you would need to have this um, X-Way LAN installed okay so we will illustrate this thing later so it may take a while for, for Excel to load up because um, anyway it is a Okay, so um, it will take for a while to for for this to 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 launch. Okay, and then um, of course we can just go to the the other version here. So one of the reasons um for for this Win apps is that basically you can see that um of course um this this is still um haven't been um, activated yet because this is a, a newly installed um, Microsoft Office for, for this um, video and the previous video illustration okay so um, everything looks nice um, we can do the same um, formatting like um, highlight and then of course press F4 to repeat the last formatting um, alternate HPT to insert the tick um, border right so the shortcut key are okay but then when you press Control one especially when you have a pop-up dialog you can see that it will automatically resize to the minimum and we can't actually resize it so one of the way to get rid with um, to deal with this issue is that you can actually um, force it to uh, this window right so force it to be tilt on the, the screen instead of floating then you can see um, what you need here right so you can actually like um, cancel and then of course if you want to insert one column right so you can see that this thing will be um minimized to a minimum again so we just tell it to the screen and then we can say okay i want to insert entire column right so we can um do the same thing it works um perfectly except that you have to just um push this one down to the screen instead of making it to be floating okay so under um i3 gaps um no issue with this thing i've um, shown this thing in the previous video you can watch the video with um illustration of these win apps in Arch Linux plus i3 gaps okay so one of the the way of dealing with this thing is that instead of using this win apps um generated uh the link or the the the, the uh, desktop file so we can actually do something like um running a command so we this is of course is not a proper way of doing doing so or uh, this is not a uh, the, the the solution to the issue but it's just a small trick that can um deal with this thing okay because um for my case um sometimes or somehow i just need to use excel for a very short while for example just to show some shaka key um, to the students and audience and sometimes i would just need to use the excel um to to, to key in some formula for for my students and so on just a very quick one so most of the time i'm not using um, microsoft excel so i sometimes i will only need this one but of course um 
I do not really use this thing um, unless really needed but most of the times um, I will be using like WPS Office which is actually a good um, alternative um, for Linux op um, environment okay so I have actually tried this one and then I remove and then I reinstall this one for the video purposes okay but I seldom use this thing so that's why um, this approach is actually um, acceptable to me okay so the first two two lines we have um seen that um we actually just want to make sure that this thing can be run um, properly right so we have to start the net um network default we have to start the virtual machine and then we run the xdp um, x3 rdp and then run the wl3 rdp so i will illustrate this one uh, manually one time so you can see that the command here actually um it takes quite um, a bit so you can see over here is just a setup that is um, specific to your to your case right so you need to um, key in your name and then of course this is the same right and this part will be um specific to your own setup okay so of course this is like the username and then your username and then this is your password and this is a server that you can see from the ip config of your um, windows right so you can actually start the um, virtual machine or the windows okay and then what you need to do here there is then um, go to the start menu and then you will go to the um, command prompt okay and then you get the IP, type in the IP config and then you try to get this um, IPv4 address okay then you can um, put it into your this part here okay so the IPv4 address will, you can actually put it inside here and then you can run this command in the in the um, terminal okay so we will illustrate this one now so of course um you can actually start up this uh virtual machine right so you can open it and then um of course you can just um, try to lock in okay uh, okay and then uh So I have to close that one um, and then of course then you can type in the command prompt okay and then um, type in the IP config right so you can get the IPv4 address and then go to the um, this part here and then we will just um, copy this one and then um, paste it to here right so this is basically you can see that this part here I'm just trying to run the Excel file so you can change it to any other application so you will need this one um, so the x3 RDP you don't have to to reinstall okay so let me move to this one right so you change it to your to your user and then your password and then your server okay so from ipv4 address and then you press enter then you will see what happened run the command okay so let me um close this one first so we will have to um let me shut down okay so Once you have shut shut down this um virtual machine or the RDP windows, you have to run this command again. Okay, so to, to start the um RDP windows one more time. Okay, so this is um shut off, you see, and then um you just need to run um this one one more time to, to start it again. Okay, then you can run the commands of the this one. Okay, so your username rdp windows um, remains and then um, if it, you set up as exactly like what is mentioned in the github page of the win apps and then your password and server okay 
then you press enter run the command and you wait for the 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 command to run and then you can see um, again you have this one just um, sign in and then wait for a while and you will see that um, the Excel file is um, Excel application will be launched again so um, because I tell it to um, this workspace so basically you have this one so it doesn't really matter um, how it looks like now so back to the the terminal control C to, to um, interrupt this um, this uh, process and then using WL3 RDP again with the same exactly the same command your username password and server run the command of WL3 RDP and then you will see that um, the Excel file is launched of course um, the, the scaling as you can see from here is not nice so of course we can just make it float make the, uh, the, the windows um, floating and then um, just tow it back okay so it should be looking fine now okay so now by doing so then you can see that um, again exactly the same thing um, things become a bit slower um, you can see that some somehow it's a bit laggy now compared to the one from wind apps but um, you can see that um, this one will not get um, minimized to the minimum okay so this is one of the way um, of course it's not a solution to this um, issue but um, the, the issue is not um, solved but we somehow just get a trick to, to make things work and, and um, if you just need to use um, Excel for a short time then I think that would be actually um, good enough right so you can see that um, the, 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 the keyboard shortcut function everything works just um, perfectly or exactly the same as you are under the Windows um, environment of course um, this is running virtual machine so it is actually a remote app remote app application right so well that is fine so we can close this one and then you can see that um, don't save okay then that is um, what we have here okay so this is what we have for this video um, if you are interested in installing these um, Vince apps um, in Linux um, environment um, you can actually refer to the github page here and then of course the this is the post that I came across to this um, uh, I get to know about this um, software okay so um, in this video we talk about the the way under Wayland and Sui WM what is the, uh, the small issue and how do we deal with that and of course um, in the previous video I actually talked about how to install it with um, Arch Linux so for those interested you can actually watch my previous video okay so I will end here and see you again in the next video